main man over here figuring out yet another pattern. He's got, oh baby, oh my God. Oh. This fish just hit a top water, but we didn't even get it on film because I forgot my GoPros of all days. I, my GoPros would have to charge right now out of all the freaking days. This man's got a freaking toad of a redfish on and we're just slaying these freaking things. Are you serious right now, pup? Stud redfish right here. Boys, stud That's redfish. That's how we do it, boys. All this is gonna have to be on YouTube from phones. These fish are waking right towards us. Waking us. So go figure, as soon as we stop recording, Tyler gets a fish. Don't let him drag you up in those weeds. Right here. Oh, he's right there? Perfect. Yeah, that's the problem is you once you get out here that pocket's a good distance. Yeah. Hold on. Stand by for technical difficulties. Without flipping my yak. Oh, you're going crazy. No, because mine, mine was both of my two hits. I saw the fish come and hit it, so they're, they're definitely hitting high. Let me, let me reposition myself. Hold up. Out. You got it. No, this is what it's all about. Going on Google Maps, looking at those tidal flats, looking at pockets and holes, and putting the time in, and, you know, the effort, the energy and time-draining effort to paddle around and poke and prod and in every single one of these little coves and pockets and actually fish it. That's how you find fish. That's how we got what me and Lethal Lore, or Tyler over here, have done today. There's fish still busted. Yeah, I just missed the freaking video. Here, spin on camera again. I'm gonna throw it again. So I just had a fish come up and miss it three or four times. When that happens, don't freak out. Just keep reeling that bait. Don't speed up your retrieve. Here he comes. Waking it. He doesn't want it though. He's just following it. You see that? The main man over here figuring out yet another pattern. He's got. Oh, Ooh, baby! Oh, oh my God! So I hope you guys could hear that because. That reel was just singing. It was singing. So they oh my gosh. shied away from the top water. They no longer really care to have the moving baits, but this dude just threw in a gulp shrimp. A gulp shrimp, right? A Z-Man. A Z-Man shrimp. And he got doinked. Just freaking doinked. And it's a dandy of a red. Doesn't help that this man's using like 1,000 size reel, so this thing's like looking like it's a 50, 50 inch redfish but it's it's still a dandy
it's a dandy. Hey man. So, hey, you gotta go light. Yeah, test sometimes. Pass, test parade. If you can see down here, we are dealing with extremely clear water. So he's going. We are going light. We both have 10 pound braid on, so we can get these baits out there. But uh, if he doesn't get this fish in here shortly, I'm gonna just retie up with a shrimp and a jig head. <laughs> Just Come getting here. it. He's just getting it. Redfish is he's not pumping the brakes at all. He's just horsing him. Just horsing him. Come here. Did you pop it off the bottom or not? Yeah. I let the shrimp hit the bottom and then I just, just raise lower, raise lower, just steady retrieve, you know? Now, the best part about this is, this was the lure I said get with. I didn't even put a leader on. <laughs> oh, I, I'm not even using a leader right now. I haven't been for a while. Oh, here we go. He's right here. You guys might be able to kind of see him. There's the wake. Look at this boy. He's just getting it. Getting it right in here. You see him? You can see him right there. You see him? Yeah, you can see oh, him. Oh, that's a great shot. Yeah, you can see this him. This is turned out to be an absolute phenomenal day today we almost didn't go out fishing today a phenomenal we've, day of fishing we've been having flats. we've been Coming having such hard times catching fish and we haven't found redfish in a long time oh, oh, no. Don't do that. Don't and, do that. and all of a sudden this man pulls up to this spot and this is probably our, our what do you say like uh it's probably dang near our 10th redfish i want to say Oh, oh, Would you land him? Do do the viewers a favor and land this redfish for him. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying not to flip my kayak. Do those lethal lure fans out there a solid and land this freaking redfish. Bam. It's a bang up job. Good job. I would clap for you, but I can't. I can't believe, go figure, forgot the GoPros. Left at like 10 something today. We started we started going to the spot at like 10 30 and this dude just got on a redfish right here right in the upper lip right where it's supposed to be done also why he's doing that i'd like you guys to take your attention to uh heavy sack rods here heavy sack rods will hook you up with a solid bang up job of a rod for catching redfish bass whatever your poison is it'll give you a solid rod for a solid price at a custom to your liking. There you go. Boom. Get that get that bad boy back. He needs a he needs that revive. He's been a he's struggled. Oh beautiful. And he swam right away. Dang. Yeah, they're still waking up in there. They're still waking. Stage that. Chasing reds, or that was a good day. That was a good day. That was just oh, put one plus one equals two equals every time. Two. Found the fish, they were active, top water. Twitch bait, shrimp, caught them on everything. Wow, that was a good day. Yeah, it was. Was that some good content? All right, my Jeep's all the way over. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this video. If you guys thoroughly enjoyed this video, leave it a thumbs up as well as leave that in the comment section below. If you guys want to see some more redfish content from the kayak, 
hopefully next time we'll get on the fly maybe even uh i forgot the fly rod this time but if you have not seen this video please check it out as well as the video right below it please check it out as well don't forget to subscribe and right below is my buddy's channel please check him out as well and as always fish now worry later